Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the S&P 500 for Wednesday, June the 3rd. Well, the change of trend today, something we uh, were alerted to that uh, had potential to happen yesterday. We now have a lower high and a lower low, which means that we have a change of trend in the first time frame to the downside. Uh, if we look at the candle, the candle is now uh, more bearish than uh, we've seen for the last uh, three or four days. Uh, the candle is red, which means that it's essentially bearish. And uh, as we've, we have now a uh, second time frame, or first time frame downtrend, we uh, have a larger body as this uh, new trend has developed. A uh, couple of good things here is that we have the uh, shadow on the bottom. We had buying coming in as the market uh, tried to trade down further. And the market's closed in the middle of the range for the day, which means that the uh, the bears have uh, lost control for the day. They tried to take control of the market at the open and push the market down to the, to the low, but the bulls came back in and brought the market back up towards the middle of the range. Now, that's not bullish, just... Bear in mind that it's not bullish, but it's certainly not as bearish as it should be in a first time frame downtrend. So neither side, neither the bulls nor the bears, have won the battle for the day. Although in candlestick terms, it still is a, a, a negative day. Now, this uh, retracement, remember when we have the Tenkan Sen and the Kijun Sen flat, that tends to attract the price action. And what it means is that when we have this very strong um, uptrend um, momentum here as we've had here and the Tenkinson and the Kijinson point up sharply it means that there's a lot of momentum to the market and the market is like a rubber band it goes from equilibrium which is here to disequilibrium and the market was in disequilibrium now it's moving back into equilibrium so once we find support down here and I think that we'll probably see this low taken out and we'll find support down here we then look for a bullish candle for an opportunity to go long again now bearing in mind that we have this area of resistance at 9.43 and at uh, around 9.20, roughly about 9.30. So an area of resistance. So the market will need to be quite bullish to um, to get up through those areas. Just panning out, further above that we have more resistance up ahead. Now looking at our other indicators, the market is still trading above the Tenkan Sen and the Kijun Sen, which is good, and it's trading above the cloud and the cloud has uh, twisted some time ago, which means that the market is still quite uh, quite bullish. We still have a second time frame uptrend. That's very important. So what we need to do as traders is to look for the pullbacks in the second time frame, second time frame uptrend for opportunities to go along. So that opportunity might um, come to fruition fairly soon. So look for support down around this area, roughly about 9.14. Mm -hmm. Thank you.